and the first one is the diary of Samuel Pepys and this is his diary from 1666 because he wrote it over a lot of years and he was there at the time he actually went down to where the fire was and he says so down with my heart full of trouble to the lieutenant of the tower who tells me that it begun this morning in the king's baker's house in Pudding Lane and that it hath burned down St Magnus Church and most part of Fish Street already and that was his bit of the diary, his entry in the diary on the 2nd of September 1666. And this is a copy of a thing called the hearth tax and the hearth is a fireplace and everybody had to pay according to how many fireplaces they had because it depended on how big their house was and this one is for pudding lane this is the hearth tax for 1666 it says pudding lane and just off of pudding lane on long pudding lane was a park called fish yard if we go down there, we come to a piece here that says Thomas Farriner Baker. And he has five hearths, five fireplaces. And underneath it, he says it has one oven for baking his bread. So let's have a look where Pudding Lane is. So this is a map of London now. And we've got the river in blue. London Bridge is just down here. And back in 1666, it was the only bridge. And just off of this road, off Lower Thames Street, is Pudding Lane. And that's where the baker was. we go back to 1593 you can see a map of London and on this map you can see that this is the only bridge going over this is the River Thames this is the only bridge this is London Bridge it's got lots of little houses on it this is the road that carries on up from the bridge so two roads along here is Pudding Lane and the last map we're going to look at is by a man called Wenceslas Holler and in 1667, the year after the Great Fire, he was asked to record what had happened to London and he recorded on a map which was then published in 1669 and this is his map. And his map, here's the River Thames, here's the Tower of London, here is London Bridge, up we go. So Pudding Lane is this road here, but this is the important bit. So these are all the houses still around the outside. This is the city wall, what we call the city of London. And all this part here, the houses have gone. All the houses and churches have all been burnt. So the, so the fire started here on Pudding Lane and it burnt all of this part of London. It's all gone. And the reason it went that way is because the wind was blowing the flames in that direction. Okay. So here we are now at Pudding Lane, up in the city of London, and around the side here and just on the corner of Monument Street, the sign about the fire, and it says, near the site of the shop belonging to Thomas Farriner, the King's Baker in which the Great Fire of September 1666 began and it was presented by the Worshipful Company of Bakers to mark the 500th anniversary 
of their charter granted by King Henry VII in 1486. And if we turn around and look up, we can see the monument to the Great Fire. Pudding Lane is very different now, it's wider, it's lighter, the buildings are further back. The street is made out of stone, not out of mud or cobbles. And this is the street where it happened, and I can show you where exactly the baker shop used to be. So here we have the monument, 202 feet tall, and if you lay it along the ground, just into Monument Street, this would be where Thomas Farrander's bakery would be in 1666.